Hey, what's up, YouTube world? This is Josh Elliott here, aka Dog Crick, aka Brother Kane. I just want to say what's up to everybody. Come on here, do a quick update. Uh, like I told you guys before, I don't come on camera much. Uh, I'm not big on having my face all on the screen. I do need to come on here and uh, do some updates. I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, this whole thing started off as an accident, it's just for fun. Debo, go lay down, buddy. Go, or come here. You want to say hi to everybody? Come here, come say hi. Come here, sit down, sit down. Okay. All right, anyways, got my boy Debo here. You guys follow me on Facebook. You'll see he's on there all the time. Anyways, uh, me and Debo here have been doing some work. Well, I figure since I've been doing this since like 2007 now, uh, and you guys seem to enjoy, you know, the stuff that I show and the stuff that I film and build, um, I figure why not turn into something professional and put the work in to try to give you guys what you deserve and you guys have all supported me for quite a while now and the subscriber count and viewer count just goes to show that not only on YouTube but also on Facebook and the Cow RC forums and uh, just all over the net in general um, I've been picked up by several other websites now that show this sh the episodes I put up I call them episodes I know they're just videos but I'm working on that I actually want to turn this into a real structured show um, the big dogs here on YouTube have taken notice to me and have given me some props and said, you know, a couple of good things to me, and that's inspired me to really step up my game. Uh, I don't want to, you know, go saying too much, but I do want to give some shout outs to people, you know. Uh, my boyfriend dog, 310, I'll give him a shout out. He gave me a shout out back when he first was getting started. You know, I helped him with a couple of things, and he has taken it and ran with it. The guy is off the chain now. Uh, my boy Rivas Concepts, you know, he's another beast, you know, he, the guy kills it with a video camera. They always got something cool going on. Brian Parker and the G6 crew, shout out to you guys. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Team Novak Racing. They're really stepping up their game and helping me out. They got a new crusher system coming out you guys need to be paying attention to. Um, I, as you guys know, I power almost all my stuff with Novak. I'm a Novak fanatic. I still got Novak systems from before I started this show. Uh, what else? Cow RC has definitely stepped it up, man. Cow RC, Heath, you're the man. I appreciate it. Uh, new mats coming. I mean, you guys that follow me on Facebook, you've all seen. I've got my little hobby shop is just G'd up right now with Cow RC stuff. I love it. Uh, best, best work mats ever in existence. I mean, I couldn't build the stuff I do without them. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Trailcom, aka uh, SSD Unlimited, is where you guys would look them up. Uh, Triple Six Project, the Ford body. Uh, if you guys aren't following that, get up on things. Uh, Facebook.com backslash Extreme Skill Performance. Uh, who else is out there, man? I don't want to miss anybody. There's just been so much going on. I want to give a shout out to Kobe Ranquist of Rapid Rhino RC. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do the show without him, and he's kind of a behind-the-scenes guy. Uh, he doesn't come out in the limelight a whole lot, but he has his own channel you guys should definitely subscribe to, Rapid Rhino RC. Um, he's definitely affiliated with Extreme Scale Performance and has helped me out tremendously. Uh, the camera that I'm talking to you on right now belongs to that man, uh, so big thanks to him as well. C-O-R-C-R-C -R -C -R -C for the point series and for uh, just, you know, giving me all the support. I mean, look at all the trucks I get to film. That's big thanks to CORCRC, Central Oregon RC Rock Crawler. The big news right now is uh, TGN Distributing. The big one from TGN Distributing is going to be my Class 1 truck for our local point series. Uh, this thing is going to be awesome. And I'm going to take the camera here in a second and go ahead and show you guys what I got going on. Uh, sorry this isn't going to be in my shop, I'm out in my living room right now, and it's because there's a massive box in my shop, it's got projects all over it right now. Uh, but I am going to show you what I got going here. I already took the liberty of opening the box, I couldn't help it, sorry guys. But uh, I will show you what all came in the box, so bear with me, it's going to get shaky here for a second. I've never done an unboxing video really, so bear with me guys, this isn't going to be your best. <laughs> I ain't no Jang, I right? but I can do all okay here. All right, so first up, this is the uh, RC four wheel drive AX2 two speed transmission for an Axial Wraith and SCX10 Honcho. Uh, very excited about this. This is going in Project Hercules. Um, 
keep in mind, you guys, these parts that they sent me aren't all for the Class 1 build. Uh, some of these parts are going on my other trucks to help finish them and get them moving along. But anyways, this is a two-speed transmission. Uh, if you guys want to see that actually out of the box, follow along on Facebook, www.facebook.com backslash extreme scale performance, all one word. And uh, I'll have pictures of this up there later. Set that down here. They've got a full set of RC four-wheel drive tires. Uh, these things are awesome. These are the RC four-wheel drive Super Swamper TSL Boggers, right? Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, the TSL Boggers. These are going on the yellow Jeep. Uh, reason being, the tires that I've been running in the local point series, and uh, been running them ever since the 2012 uh, axial scale nationals or scale championships up in uh, Lucia Falls, Washington. Uh, they're too small. I mean, they're they're not too small. Obviously, they do pretty good. I'm in first place in the local point series, but at the same time, I have room for improvement. So these will take it up to the limit that they need to be at. So definitely excited about those. I have uh, Hobby Gear Craftmaster uh, air compressor. That thing's awesome. Uh, this right here is actually going to uh, be going in, I know it says 124 scale, but I'm not worried about that. That's the size that I want it to be. Um, I'm building a scale shop, basically, uh, for like diorama, or, you know, I know that's said different ways all over the world, but diorama, diorama uh, type of shop setup where I can take pictures and put the trucks in there. I also have some awesome uh, Cow RC goodies, I'll show you guys later for that. Uh, well, just follow the Facebook page. You'll see them all on the Facebook page. What else we got? We got RC four-wheel drives, uh, chassis-mounted servo kit. This is uh, for the axial wraith. This is going to go on Hercules as well. I've got RC four-wheel drives, uh, scale 9300 winch. Um, this is the new version. This is the one that has the uh, built-in three position switch controller if I was reading that right. I've got several of these. I'm really excited about that. Moving along here. We've got the high performance LED light bar. That is awesome. Not sure which truck that's going on. Got another uh, RC four wheel drive 2.4 gigahertz receiver for my four channel radio from RC four wheel drive. Uh, Hobby gear uh, scale display accessory setup. This is the Mechanics 2 Series 1 kit. Um, this thing is pretty cool. I can't wait to put that to use. Uh, there's also somewhere in here we have a snatch block and also I have what is this? The mat tracks. Oh yeah, extraction boards. So like sand boards pretty much. Those are pretty cool. So I guess you guys are all wondering what the big item is. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and show you guys what it is. Might as well uh, spin this box around like this. And here it is. The moment of truth. The future Class 1 Extreme Scale Performance Truck. Um, keep in mind the body will change. <laughs> Most likely to a Jeep. But uh, here it is. We have a brand new... RC four wheel drive trail finder two sitting in the bottom of this box and just to show you I'm not BSing with you let's pull it out there it is RC four wheel drives trail finder two very excited very 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 excited I'm sorry this isn't the best situation for doing an unboxing video I'm doing it in my living room but uh like i said my shop is just a mess right now so uh there it is guys that's the update all right so now you guys know what's going on that's the update um follow me calrc.com forums uh, i'm all over there definitely posting up this build along with all of my other builds i'm in the process of doing all those threads right now um lots of cool stuff coming down the pipeline so my buddy Jared with the Bronco is here. We're uh, going to do some wrenching. And yeah, follow me on Facebook, guys. You got any questions, you got anything, put them down in the comments. Make sure you give it the thumbs up. Even though this is just an update video, 
Uh, I like to hear you guys' thoughts. I like to know what you think about the show. And uh, if you got any suggestions, let me know. All right, I'm going to go answer the door. You guys take it easy. Peace. Yo, yo, what's up?